Come on, boy. It's time to go. Case of ammo holding this site. I suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Ready to recover another artifact? Night Reese, another batch of scans from the Pridwins just arrived. Finally! I was itching to head out on my duty ship as long. Well, there are plenty of lags in making new difference out here. The Commonwealth is still crawling. Barrels, super mutants, assets, you name it. Hmm. More than I can handle on my own. I'll see if I can get someone else to help me take these targets down.
far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? There's Lancer, Captain. And Kells. Follow me. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridlin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. Captain. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our myth beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, 
we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad victorium! Ad victorium! Ad victorium! Carry food with you or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. A knight? <laughs> what is this, the Dark Ages? Judging from the state of the world, it wouldn't be a stretch to say we're living in that era again. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of <coughs> work ahead of us, brother. Well, now. Wondered when I'd see you again. Welcome back, Paladin. Welcome home. Glad to hear someone say that. Now, listen, I didn't have a chance to thank you properly before. I'm not sure I still have a place here. I've been away for too long. Maybe I'm not cut out for the Brotherhood anymore. But I'll give it time. I owe it to you and to my team. Thank you for giving me another chance. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I didn't like this rust bucket. Oh, sure, the Pridlin's a fine ship, but put me in the field any day. Let's talk to Proctor Tegan. I bet he has some excellent mods for our power armor. There, try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report 10 minutes ago. If you can't fix it. I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. I'm not questioning orders. There has to be a better way of saving the How can a machine? believe it's alive it's ridiculous if it looks dead put one more in its head for good measure why well, take the excuse chance. me proctor ingram so you're the new recruit i heard about uh, not what i was expecting sounds like you're disappointed I'm not disappointed just surprised you don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up anyway since you came down here to meet me we may as well get it over with my name's ingram and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. 
There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. You can help yourself to anything you can find. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. As long as I don't end up in the brig. Don't worry. Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar on his face. Cade won't clear me for duty yet. He's giving me orders. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwin. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? 
My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Find any technical document. Uh, firing. All right, all right. Everything looks nominal, and you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. Put two in the head and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Time to suit up. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Alpha at 93%. Compensating. Delta sequence initiated. Completion 14 minutes. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. 
shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Can't talk.
Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. doesn't mean we should drop our guard. to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. from the amount of dust present. It's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while. Uh, be hungry. No one care. Stupid mutant. What you say? Ha! You deaf and stupid. Useless mutant. Fight me. Ah! I not fight you. Not worth it.
Paladin, look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a Brotherhood Knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed.
put two in the head and they'll stay dead. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man Warheads to the Prudwin. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. There's no time to waste. There's work to be done. Never did like this rust bucket. Oh, sure, the privilege of mine should Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from the Pharaohs. Well, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like that. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. The food stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for when I send out a collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers, by any means necessary. Any means necessary? You're giving me carte blanche on this. You said it. Like they say, if you aren't with us, you're against us. Think you can handle that? I'm in. Perfect. Here's the location. Convince the settlement to support the Brotherhood, or take over the settlement by force. Don't let Ingram get you standing around. Night.
easy living. Excuse me. Why do this I get the impression I don't want to hear what you have to say? What would you take for your crops? Hmm. I can't see parting with our crops for less than a thousand caps. I don't have the money. I guess that's too bad then. Excuse me. Can I help you? The Brotherhood needs your help to protect the Commonwealth. Donate a portion of your crops to the Brotherhood, and it will not be forgotten. Donate? Haven't heard that one before. But raiders usually aren't that polite. Don't think I don't see what's going on here. You'll get your donation come harvest. Hey. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Attention, this is a notice to all personnel. Please think of your brothers and sisters down below. Thoroughly secure all gear while on the flight deck. Thank you. I'd gladly lay down my life if it keeps humanity from repeating the apocalypse. Hope you've got some good news for me. Yes, sir. The crops will be available when harvested. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Here are your caps. As per our agreement, plenty of farms out there to cross off the list, if you're interested. If these farmers realize what we did for them on a daily basis, they'd be lining up to help. Forget it. Sounds good. By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology. Person that disowned.